Hi, how are you? I hope everyone is okay. Um, let, first of all, let me know if you can hear me, guys, because um, the I had to restart the computer. Um, I had to restart it all, and there was an update. So, yeah, never know. You never know if that's going to mess with the uh, with the old uh, cameras and stuff. So, if you can hear me, let me know. Can you hear me? Hi, Claire. How are you? Hello. Um, hopefully, you're all there. We're going to give over just a couple of moments to come on. I uh, hope you're all enjoying the sunshine. It's amazing out there. Oh, it feels like summer's finally arrived. It was proper warm. I was like, I was sat, <laughs> so common. I sat on the doorstep for a little bit because we get no garden in the back garden at all when I come home from work. So uh, I sat on the I sat on my front doorstep with a cup of tea just so I could sit in the sun. It was lush. <laughs> uh, hi, Freddie. Hi, Anne. Hi, Maria. Hi, Sue. Brilliant. Uh, sounds okay. Brilliant. Hi. Uh, the hi, Karen. Hi, uh, Mary. Brilliant. Uh, hi, Lindy Lou. Hi, Liz. Hi, Natalie. Oh, lots and lots of you coming on. And hello, my darlings. Hi, Liz. Yeah, hi, Liz. Oh, lots of you. Hello, Leslie. Amazing. Sorry if I've missed anybody. You all came on really, really quickly then. <laughs> it was all like bing, 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 bing. So, um, well, obviously, we're going to do uh, week four of the Quilt Along tonight, which is another flower block. It's another pieced one. Next week, we're going to be doing a applique block, and I'm going to show you two different types of applique, the way you can do it, okay? You can choose them, which are however you want it. And then the last one is an EPP one, and then, uh, not the last one, the no one after that, sorry, is an EPP one, and then English paper piece in. And then we'll have a two week break for you to catch up and get everything together. And then um, when I'm back off holes, um, on the Wednesday, we will do the border. We'll, if For those of you who want to put a border on, you don't have to. It can absolutely just be the quilt top with the, with the standard border. But if you'd like to make it bigger and do the twisted ribbon border, we'll do that afterwards, okay? So um, so that's kind of the plan. But we're going to do it weekly now, okay? So, oh, sorry, I've just put my comments there. Hi, Sean. Hello, darling. Um, hi, Bernie. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, Jean. Oh, lots and lots of you coming on. Hi, hi Aline. Hi, Holly. Hi, Claire. Oh, amazing. Lots of you saying hello, which is really, really nice. Um, right, we're going to just crack on to it, my darlings. We're just going to crack to it. I haven't got anything to to uh, to wobble about today. So we'll whiffle, wobble? Whiffle on about is what I was trying to say. So um, this is what we're going to be doing, okay? It's this little block here. Um, it's called it's this sort of a stylized flower. Um, hang on, am I in the right place? It doesn't look quite like I'm in the right place. Let me just... Let's just fiddle with that camera a minute. I moved it all, didn't I, to get the uh, um, the crochet really close, and now it's all oh oh no no now I've messed it. Now I've messed with it, haven't I? Oh no, what have I done? Oh no! Hang on. Sorry guys, I'm kind of come back here a minute. I've just got to sort these leads out. What's happened? Something's happened with the lead, and all the everything went all kablooey. Right, let's try that. Let's go back over to the overhead. Is it a proper picture now? Let's see. <laughs> I shouldn't have touched anything, should I? Oh, now it's frozen. Oh, for goodness sake. Right. Right. Two seconds, my lovelies. See? Let me... Right, it's going to go black, but don't worry, okay? Because I've just got to reboot it a second. There we go. Okay, we're there. We're back. <laughs> we are back and it's our working. <laughs> so, updates. It gets me every time. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Nikki. Hello, darlings. So, this is what we're going to do. Um, um, it, it's called a sort of a stylized gerbera type, you know, that idea. The lots of little petals around the outside. But again, very stylized. The same as all the flowers. Um, so, I did put the cutting instructions up and I accidentally put inner and outer the wrong way round however yeah and I'm just explaining that my darling just explaining that it doesn't matter which way you cut it okay so on the instructions I'd put fabric one was the I know outer it, it outer petals and it was actually inner and then I'd written inner and outer the wrong way round I have gone back in and edited it edited it however I'm actually going to do the the block tonight with you the opposite way round. It doesn't matter which way, um, which way around you cut it. Okay. Um, so I'm on this next block. I'm going to use these oranges. I'm actually going to put the floral bit here, and the solid on the outside, just so you can see how you know what it looks like di di different ways around. So yeah, it doesn't matter which way. I've edited it 
now the post um so that it's this but if you'd already cut it out it's going to be how we're doing it tonight it doesn't matter which fabric you use okay it really doesn't matter which way around you use um it was just that i put i was tired i'm sorry i was tired when i was typing and i just put outer in in the wrong way around so what we're going to do to start with we're going to go through what we need from your background fabric you need 12 two and a half inch squares okay you're going to need your center which is four and a half inches i think that was fabric three your outer petals are four two and a half by four and a half and four and a half by four and a half squares times four okay you can see i'm doing mine the opposite way around color wise because i wanted to wanted it to look different and then for your inner petals you need two and a half by four and a half twi uh, times four one two three four and you want four two and a half inch squares okay so um yeah check out the cutting instructions on i think i edited the post on both but definitely the one that Mar uh, mary commented on which was on gigglers is now correct okay however as always the pattern which is definitely correct is on the website as a digital download for a pound okay so is it two blocks of this pattern it is it's just two of this one darlings okay so you so let actually just before we start sewing we'll just run through it quickly okay so you should have 13 of these now we have fenced that was week one okay you need four of these ones which was week two okay which was like your tulip stylized tulip you should have oh two of like your big floppy black eyed daisy type thing okay and then you'll want two of this sort of gerbery type one okay so however you choose to do it but that's so you're not getting anything you're not getting anything uh, what do you mean carol you're not getting anything as in any sound or any picture let us know hun. what what aren't you getting or are you not getting the cutting instructions let me know guys okay carol type in what what you're um what is it you're not getting lovely hi ali hello um it's running fine for us this end carol it's all all running okay at the moment so i don't know quite what you mean whether you mean you're not getting sound sound and picture okay here you can see in here okay okay i'm gonna carry on carol it might be your internet connection han okay so first things first nice and easy we're gonna take the two and a half by four and a half um, rectangles in the two colours, one and two, and we're going to place the right sides together and do a really nice little rail, like a rail fence basically. I'm going to stitch down quarter of an inch either side, not either side, one side. Okay, you can't find the digital download. I definitely put it on earlier, guys. It's in the digital download section on the pattern file. I will check, double check when I came came on it come off air but it was it was in the um the section it was in the the pattern section however the website was playing up um the website was playing up and it kept chucking me off so i definitely put it on there but i will check when i get back okay sean can you check whether it's there love all fenced in week four it should be in the digital downloads um because I, I uploaded because i double checked the pattern the, the picture on it i'm sure it uploaded maybe sean could put a link if it's not there i will make sure it goes on straight away okay so i'm going to just stitch down quarter of an inch on these okay just down one side quarter of an inch so over we go let's hope this one's working as well nothing else is crashed <laughs> it's there it is there there we go oh i was gonna say you saw it i was gonna say i'm sure i put it on lindy lou it's there darling there we go so quarter of an inch this is easy easy little bit just a bit of chain piece in away we go there we go and that's the next one and um, we have put today sarah and i have been very busy on the website we are going to on friday do a bit of a instead of a what's in the box box we're going to do what's on the shelves okay <laughs> because we've been putting a load of new stuff on the website. We've also put um, a load of stuff into Going, Going, Gone, 
Um, and there's some stuff gone into clearance as well. So we've been having, we're having a mega sort out of the shop. <laughs> Make a mega sort out of the shop. Right, so there we go. So um, let's just click through on those. Click those apart. And then uh, back over here. There we go. It's there. Brilliant. Thanks, guys. There we go. So you're just going to then press it towards the darker fabric. So for me, this is a dark orange. So I've got my dark orange on the top. So I've got hiccups. I downed a glass of water because I was really thirsty just before I came on air and it's giving me hiccups. So there we go. I think I'm very excited for my hol holiday now. Very, very excited. It's only three weeks today. Three weeks today, I will be on a plane. There will be a countdown. <laughs> Here we go. So I'm just going to just iron those out to the darker fabric on all of those. Okay, they all now should now measure four and a half by four and a half, which um, they do. Yes. Um, so you're just going to pop those aside. Okay. We're now going to do a little bit of altered blocks. Okay. Oh, that sounds amazing, Karen. I'm not, well, I'm not jealous because obviously I've got my beautiful new machine, but that is a good husband. That's definitely one to keep, Mrs. If she, he surprises you with the machine. On all of your background fabrics, we're going to draw a line, okay? So, diagonal line, this is going to be a bit tedious for you guys, so you're going to have to talk to me. Tell me about what you've been up to. Um, I should have made some of these blocks. I should have made two of them up, really, and then you wouldn't have to watch me make them all. But we'll do a couple. We'll do a couple, and you'll get the idea, okay? So, I want three. So, for each quarter, you want three of the backgrounds, like that diagonal line across and you want one of your other two and a half so okay so you coloured two and a half so whichever way round you've chosen to do it okay so like that so you're going to need each of those and one of those per block okay so three one and then the four and a half inch um square as well i'm going to do two of these <coughs> i mean depending on well, how bored you guys are we might do all four but i'm going to do two at a time because i'm going to chain piece them so i'm just on the right side of my fabric we're going to do that one two three um there we go and that one we had um nick our stylecraft rep come in today he popped in today showed us some new yarns which were really lovely um, we have um, got all the new, all the special DKs coming in as well because we're all totally out of stock of all of them at the minute because of festivals. So they should all be in and back in stock too. Right, I'm going to do these two at a time. You don't have to, you can do them one at a time, but for you know, time's sake, I'm going to do it. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these little background squares, they're two and a half inches, and we're going to place it. We're basically snowballing or altering corners so I'm putting this in the right hand side here right hand side like that take note of the the way the lines go in and we're gonna stitch down the line okay but do you remember the other day I told you about not stitching directly on the line stitching just literally what you want to do is you want to get the needle touching the line but just the other this is like getting your scant quarter okay so you're gonna get your needle just on the line touching the line but the corner side so don't come this side you want to be the corner side okay and it should touch the line the thread but it's going to run alongside it rather than directly on it i know it seems minute it really does it seems absolutely tiny amount to be worrying about but it will make your blocks more accurate if you can try and get into the habit of doing that it will help so over to the machine my darlings and we're going to try and uh try and read your comments at the same time um oh i'm gonna just get rid of that one there we go uh gene you're on an overlocker workshop on you know change that as well overlocker workshop on saturday you had to finish the hem and sleeves in the bottom then it'd be finished oh amazing right i'm gonna say one little thing i don't like i just need to buy the right foot basically so this is a quarter inch foot on this machine and they give you this really handy seam guide which is brilliant for when you're doing a quarter inch seam allowance I have to keep taking it off when I want to go underneath, and that's annoying me. Or taking it off, but moving it basically. 
Only thing that's annoyed me about my new machine, but you know I'm honest with the reviews and I will tell you the things that annoy me as well as the things that don't. What I want to get is the quarter inch foot with the actual guide attached. I think that might help. So how was your course though, Jean? Did, did you enjoy it? Was it useful? Uh, I've got an overlocker. I've probably used it like three times. I really would like to do a little bit more um, dressmaking. Just don't have chance. I always get suckered into the quilting instead. <laughs> I buy fabric all the time at shows for dresses thinking oh, that would make an amazing dress that would make an amazing skirt and I never get around to doing it never get around to doing it there we go so I'm going to do two at a time and then if we've got chance we'll do the other two okay so talk to me ladies how what have you all been up to has anybody done anything interesting it was a uh, national granny square day yesterday um, I meant to, meant to mention it because we did a bit of crochet, didn't we? But uh, I meant to mention it and I forgot. So as we did previously as well, this is another another time just to double check. Double check before you cut anything off, just iron that over like that. Double check you've done it right. Double check that it fits within the four and a half. You know, it's running along those edges and then you can chop it off. Okay. As we've said before, you can just chop the middle and leave the outside. It helps stabilise. I don't particularly like doing that. It's too much bulk for me, but a lot of people do. All right, so one, and then same on this one. Just iron it out first, because if it's not right, you can just unpick it and re-jiggle re that. You know, once you've cut it off, it's a real pain. Uh, Marion, you're doing uh, free machine quilting, but the machine is... The machine was playing nice or not playing nice? Sorry, I can't quite read your comment, lovely. If it was playing nice, yay! If it wasn't playing nice, boo. <laughs> okay, so next one, we're literally gonna work round. So now we're gonna go top left and we're gonna line this up with the top and the left hand side. You should have an overlap here, okay? You want that obviously for your seam allowance when we join later. So let's get that one in like that. I've also been using my wool pressing mat. So I was very nicely gifted one because I was demonstrating them on uh, Crate and Craft. I got to keep it. Yay! Um, I'm loving it. It actually really does make a difference to my art pressing. I was very surprised. I didn't think it really would, but it does. Again, exactly the same. I'm going to draw, uh, sew down the drawn line, but again, just on the edge, just touch it. Okay. There we go, so like that. We are going to be doing a uh, block of the month on uh, Crate and Craft as well. Starting in October, November time, I'm going to be going up and filming um, them all um, where you can basically do like a quilt along like here, but through Crate and Craft as well. Um, and there'll be a new pattern and stuff as well. So um, That's quite exciting news that we had yesterday. There we go, up like that. Uh, saw a fab stitch exhibition in Bristol today. I post, oh, I did see Mar uh, Maria. That looked really interesting. Um, did you, what did you, what, yeah, was it um, like quilting or was it all like textile? So it was different types of stitching. It looked really, yeah, I, did, I didn't have a chance to look at the whole exhibition because I was pootling, but I did see you posted. There we go. So that one's correct. You've got that nice little overlap there. I can chop that bit off um recommendation yeah absolutely i i genuinely love mine sean i'm very very happy with it i wasn't sure that it was one of those but i thought it was going to be a bit gimmicky i thought it was going to be like oh what's the point i've got got my cut and press board which i love and it's great for like taking away because you can cut and press obviously um you know i've got an ironing board you know and everything what do i need one for but oh it's nice Particularly if you're using a bit of starch as well. It's really crisp. Really, really crisp. Uh, you got given one several, uh, several years ago and I love it. Wool mat. Uh, love the idea of, uh, yeah, crate, crate and craft look craft long. Yes. Yeah, I'm quite excited about it. It should be really good. Good. So, um, yeah, they'll be like releasing it on their new app each month. There'll be a blog post to go with it. So, yeah, lots of work, but going to be interesting. Um, I'm glad you love yours as well, Eileen. I, you know, I, well, I don't know whether you were like me. I was a bit like, mm, really, really, what's the fuss about? But mm, loving it. If you haven't got one, it's worth the investment. If you do use, a, if it does get very wet, if you put a lot of starch. Sorry, I'm now going down to this bottom corner. So I've done top left, top 
top left, top right, and then I'm now doing bottom left. But it's it's repeating the process, okay? So like that. So I'm going to stitch down again. It is easy, yeah, yeah. Oh, see, lots of you have already got them. Brilliant. See, I hadn't ever like taken the plunge and bothered to get one. I was a bit because you know I don't do gadgets for gadget's sake. You know, I believe in keeping money for for pretty fabrics and uh, only buying a gadget if I really have to, if I really think it's worth the money. So yeah, got had this one given me to play with um, because of taking them on Crate and Craft, and yeah, blooming loving it. Highly recommend. There we go. Down that line, just taking it a weeny bit slower because again, you're working with bias edges. Just take it a bit slower. Uh, there you go. Pop that. Oh. Okay. Sorry if I'm missing any comments, guys. You're you're chat all chattering lots, and I'm they're moving faster than I can read. <laughs> there we go. So that one there, and uh, that one there. There we go. And then yeah, it's fine. It's li all lining up nicely, and I can chop off. Again, you know, I think Karen actually said to us um, last time we were doing this, keep these bits, put them in your crumb quilting or make little half square triangles out of them and you can use them on all sorts of little projects. There we go, those ones are there. And that one there. So Karen, your uh, jukey present, your surprise present, was it just a surprise present or was it for a birthday or something? What, um, what, what was the occasion? Did uh, Or was he just being lovely? Which is nice when they're just lovely for no reason, isn't it? Okay, now what I want is these little um, Fabric 2 ones, okay? So this is whatever the inner colour is, all right? And you should have four of these, so obviously one for each quarter. This is going to be your final one, okay? So we're going to pop that on like that in the bottom right. And again for this side here, like that. Ooh, there we go. And again, exactly the same process. We're going to snowball this corner as well, um, but we're doing it in the, the opposite fabric this time, okay? So back over we go. You're all very quiet. If I, am I missing comments or have you all gone quiet? None of you are talking to me today. It's just me rabbiting on. <laughs> um, Starcraft guy was... Um, Nick uh, brought uh, brought some new ranges and all in. Uh, we've got some really interesting Christmas stuff coming in actually. Really, really pretty. If you're those knitters and crochets out there, we're gonna have a really cute pack coming to you. Jean, uh, you keep all your scrap fabric now. Anything that's too small to sew with goes in a bag to use the stuff in. Yeah, brilliant idea, lovely. Absolutely. You know, I used to be a bit ruthless, but I've got a bit more frugal in the last couple of years. I tend to keep lots of bits now. Um, your upcoming 70th and also caring for your hubby for nine years. Oh, bless Karen. That, what, how lovely is that? What a nice hubby. He's definitely definitely a keeper, that one, if he buys you a sewing machine. <laughs> and Lorraine, you love your wool mat. Bought a friend who doesn't sew. Uh, sorry, uh, bought you a cheap one. Gave it away. We're spending the money on real one. Um, and you do a lot of EVP. Yeah, they're really good. They really do just kind of like throw the heat back from the bottom, don't they? And the, the pressing was... Fantastic. I'm well impressed. I'm well impressed. Right. Okie doke. So let's pop that one on like that. What time is it? Oh, we're doing okay for time actually. Let's just fold that one out like that. Ooh, I could probably have done with doing that one just a weeny bit over that way, but I can make that work with the seam allowance, so I'm not going to unpick it. Not to not now. I'm, if I was doing this off camera, I probably would unpick that one. Obviously, where I wasn't concentrating, I went just a little bit too far on the line. But anyway, it's okay. I can I can save that with a se good seam allowance. <laughs> there we go. And chop off that bit of excess. Right, excuse me, I'm just going to glug some water. I am still there. Uh, Got the last remnants of this cold. Um, should we just quickly do the other two, or, or should I just get on with it? Your best buys were a wool mat and a rotary cutting board. I see that's one something I haven't got, and I always think, oh, it doesn't matter. But 
Sarah's got a, a ro rotating cutting board and loves it. Abs oh, sorry, I'm on the wrong camera. I'm on the wrong camera. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, guys. I was on the wrong camera, wasn't I? That was because I was thinking I need to get a drink. I need to get a drink. <laughs> hmm. There we go. Sorry, back on this camera. I was thinking, get my water because I could feel a cough come in. I forgot to flip the camera. Sorry, my darlings. So basically, all I've done is just swap those over. Okay, so not swap those over. Trim that off just like we did the others so that you've got this in the bottom corner. You've got that, that other fabric, the coordinating fabric here. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm not going to make the whole block. Okay. I'm not going to make the whole block because of a time element, but you're going to make four of these. Okay. And you're basically, we're going to put them, you're going to rotate them like this. Okay. And then these ones are going to sit in here like that. So these are going to go round like that. And like that and like that and by using the same fabric it gives that illusion that that's moving around like that okay because if this was background it would look very blocky but you've got more of a circle and obviously then the other two are going to sit down here like that so just be careful that your, your fabrics are fa touching fabrics I will put this together because I want to want you just to have a little think about how you do your seam allowance on this one so you're going to put the right sides together. Okay, make sure. Now there isn't any nesting. You don't need to nest anything. But, where's my pin's gone? There we go. I'm going to put a pin in here to hold it in place. I'm just going to use a pen a second to colourise the thread a minute. So my thread, and I'm going to hold it up for you so you can see. Okay, that's where the cross where my thread crosses with that bit that I've colorized, okay? When I do my quarter inch seam allowance, which is gonna come down here, it's a bit like when you do your flying geese, don't go over that cross. Even if it means you kind of go like that and skip around it a little bit, if you haven't been overly accurate, just make sure that you are that side, you know, the edge side of the cross and you won't lose your point. All right, so I will do this bit for you, okay? Mind you, if a sunflower. Yeah, thank you, Han. Um, It's, like I said, these are all very stylized um, flowers, you know? Um, I'm just going to put my guide back, back down. Let's quickly screw that back on. I do like a guide. I, I've decided I'm definitely a guide girl. I don't like using the foot without something to butt my fabric up against. So... I don't know why the dog is going crazy. She's going loopy out there. Has she been fed, guys? Yeah. Okay. So, a quarter of an inch, back stitch there, and just keep really keep an eye on that that little you know where the thread crosses to make sure you're staying within edge size uh, edge side across i'm sorry my words are not coming very easily tonight there we go okay i'm just going to take that pin out. i'm going to put the other side on as well just really quickly rather than me going switching cameras let me just grab it can you tell us more about the january sewing workshops yes absolutely lovely so uh we've got the sewing weekend um just while i put this side on we've got the sewing weekend happening in january the um, the Saturday will be six brand new blocks in a variety of techniques. It's going to be blocks that will go together that you could make several of and do a quilt, or you could put the six together and make a table runner or you know bed runner or something, or use for whatever. But they're going to be all brand new blocks, some things that we haven't done on here. Once I've designed, I'm just well, I'm in the process of designing the last two actually, but in a variety of techniques so that um, you're, you're trying some different things, hopefully, um, and also about mixing techniques as well. So it'd be really good for an absolute beginner if they've um, never tried um, any quilting before because two of the blocks will be you know, pieced blocks and they could just have a little go at those. Those of you who are more experienced, um, right, I'm going to come back over to the main main uh, overhead a minute, just while I'm talking. For those of you who are more experienced, there'll be definitely stuff there to challenge you and, and make you sort of think, oh, right, okay, I could do it like this, I could do it like that. Oh, you always want to iron it to the centre, this centrepiece as well, because of the bulk here. So just make sure you're ironing that way, okay? Um, and then on the Sunday, 
we're going to do what I'm calling leveled up Manx. So obviously we've done, played around with Manx a lot with the normal Manx and Hexi. But I've been working on some new designs using the Manx technique. Uh, one's one's a tum like a tumbling block, so you get this beautiful like illusion thing, and the other one's slightly more pictorial. Um, so um, we're gonna, you know, you've got those options for. You can either do either day, you could do the Saturday or the Sunday, or you could do both days. Okay, right. So your middle middle row is gonna be oh like that. Okay, we'll just put those on quickly. Um, so yeah, it's um, you can book um, book each day individually or you can book the two days together at a discount if you wanted to do both days if you wanted to come down because i know it's a, a bit of a trek for you jean um so yeah that's that's basically what it is it's it's quilting on you know new patchwork on the saturday and then new manx on the sunday we are um we have got another date in as well which is the 4th of november um so and i've been playing around I, actually, I'm going to ask you guys' opinion because there's lots of you online at the moment and there weren't very many of you yesterday. So the 4th of November, we've managed to secure the haul again and we did ask you guys about um, what you fancied learning. And I know some of you gave me some good ideas. Um, what we thought we'd do is maybe sort of a Christmassy project, maybe um, some stained glass um, techniques, which um, can be really lovely, actually. We've got a hexi stained glass and then we've got a taped stained glass but with a brand new design, something that is um, maybe suitable for Christmas because November, you've got time to, um, so again, I'm going to iron it always out to these striped bits so that they nest. You would have time to complete something. Um, so how, what do you think about a stained glass workshop? You know, obviously not actual stained glass. Um, patchwork stained glass workshop. Does that appeal? Is that something you would come and give a go? Or have you got any other ideas? People that are there who didn't tune in yesterday. Um, what's that, Lorraine? Only found out, found you lot about a month ago. Have really loved catching them on the demos. This is my first time in live, loving it. Oh, thanks, Lorraine. Oh, well, welcome, welcome, my lovely. Um, you know, is there something you guys, is there something else that you guys fancy doing? I've lost my pins again. What am I doing tonight? Um, but, yeah. Get, throw out some suggestions and what I'll do is we will announce it next week what we're actually going to do on that day okay and we'll put it live on the website you're then gonna just nest that little seam there okay so because I've always gone towards the striped bit they nest beautifully stitch down and then I'm not going to do the other two blocks now because I'm running out of time darlings but you get the idea you make another two of those um, little altered blocks okay Patrick stained glass sounds wonderful. Another stained glass, I'd like to give that a go. Rainy Mac yes, absolutely, a Rainy Macintosh style quilt. Um, but we'll do two techniques in the day. There's two different ways of doing it. So again, I I like you to get value for your money. <laughs> I like you all to get value for your money, guys. So, two techniques on different types of stained glass. Uh, will you be doing a Christmas quilt along? Yes. Um, that is my plan, lovely. I will be doing a Christmas quilt along. I um, I designed one last year and then ran out of time, absolutely ran out of time. Um, we just, we got crazy and I didn't do it, but I've got something designed and I'm pretty sure that I'm need, well, I'm about 90% there of actually doing the blocks to make sure it all fits together and stuff. So yes, I will be doing a Christmas quilt along. Uh, right, pick that up like that. Just iron that out towards that way. There we go, give that a gentle press. Let's see, this is when my wool mat would come in useful. Okay, and then obviously you, you would do two more of those that would come there. Like I said, I haven't done them because we, at the time, it's very repetitive for you to watch me just do the same thing over and over. But that then would come down here. So with this one, I've put my floral on the inside and my stronger color on the outside. With this one, I did my outer and inner petals the other way round. So I put my stronger on the outside and the floor on the inside. You can play around with it. It's your quilt. You could make each one of these different fabrics. If you're doing scraps or fat quarters, or you could do opposites, you could do those four the same, those four, you could do... I wouldn't necessarily do this bit different. I think you would lose that kind of slightly circular look. You could, if you wanted to, alter this centerpiece as well, you know, 
I just thinking this, I, I could have designed it like that. That might be quite nice, actually. If I had altered that centerpiece with this blue, again, you'd get slightly more circular type feel rather than that square in a, and everything. So, in fact, ooh, I might make another one and alter that. Again, I would use probably a four and a half. So you want them, you don't want it to be all the way to the middle. So if you wanted to alter this bit here, just to like nip off those corners, Where's the blue? Have I got a little bit of scrap of blue here somewhere? Hang on. Let's let's play with this while I've got a few minutes. <laughs> um let me just a one and a half? One and a half would work, wouldn't it? Yeah, one and a half. So that it did that. Okay, so you would you can you see what I mean? You would just nip off those corners. That might be quite nice actually. I might make another one. I might make another one of these and just do that to it. But if you did a one and a half inch square alter them just like you did here in the center that would give you a different look too um you know i would keep that as one color i think you'll get that but you could play around with these you could make this you know quarter square triangles anything you like it's your blocks remember right let me have a little look at your comments so i'm going to come back over here a second um Interest block, you need to jump in and start working on this. Yeah, do it. you've got a new machine now, Karen. Why not, darling? Uh, hi there. Uh, oh, hello, my lovely. Yeah, well, I think we're all doing fine. Thank you. Um, well, sorry, somebody else said, you'd love a stained glass, but November the 4th, it was way for every weekend in November. Wow. I don't know. I reckon. Well, yeah, because you're doing double retreat, aren't you, Eileen? Oh, it won't matter. Your husband will manage. You'll be fine, love. <laughs> Um, you'd like to learn stained glass techniques brilliant okay cool I that seems to have have a bit of a vote we had a, a little bit, a few people suggest that yesterday as well so we might do that okay but we'll definitely we'll announce what we're doing for definite next week um, oh thanks Jean that's lovely of you um, play around with it this block that's what the patterns are written for like that but play around with it like I did this time I, I changed my colors around play around with altering this if you're if you've got a beautiful fabric that you want to fussy cut for the center you know you could do that in the center couldn't you you know fussy because it's quite a nice big one you know again if you've got something that ties in in your fabrics fussy cut something really pretty so uh what's that you've had a nightmare with the last block my cataracts playing havoc with following line. oh so i'm sorry about that lovely um what could you do would it help rather than following a diagonal line would uh, would it help if you ironed it instead because that sometimes might because it, it gives a shadow that might be easier maybe I'm not sure because obviously I don't know how you how you're striking with your cataracts but if you fold it in half like that and iron it rather than a drawn line you've got like a valley to follow a little bit I don't know if that might be easier for you um you know try that lovely try that and remember if it's not perfect, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's your quilt. If you're still enjoying sewing, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect, you know? Um, so you look at some of these, they're not perfect. <laughs> I did do it quite quickly, that one. <laughs> um, right, okay. Um, yeah, try that, Sue. It might help. It Because you you can use either side. You can use the valley or you can place it with, with the, like, the hill bit rather than the valley bit. But it's... Um, it slightly shadows one side because you've because of how the light goes. The other thing that somebody who came in the shop was telling us about was a little while ago when she was struggling with her eyesight with through cataracts um, was she got extra lights for her machine. You know the LED strip lights you can buy for the machine that really really helped as well. I don't know if that would help you, but it, it might be worth something you know something to try if you want to you know keep on with your sewing love. Um, but yeah, give us a shout if there's anything you can do. Okay. Um, but yeah, try that little technique. That's it. That's it for today. That's it for me. So I will see you Tuesday next week at one o'clock usual time and then Wednesday at seven. Um, Sarah will be back tomorrow at one o'clock. So back to daytime and she's going to be doing a koala block. Um, it's really cute. Really, really cute. But um, yeah, so she's going to be doing a koala. Um, was my best Aussie accent, which I know was terrible. I'm very sorry. I don't do accents at all. <laughs> so I will see you all. I'll probably see you on Friday. I think we're going to do a little jump on and do a little live anyway to show you some of the new stuff because, boy, we've got some pretty new things in. Sean, don't listen. 
got rid of a lot of stuff at festival and the new stuff came in <laughs> <laughs> right my darlings take care have a lovely evening and i'll see you real soon bye